Hello, happy holidays to everybody. It's been a minute since I made a video, so I thought I'd just get back into the flow. I think it's been like two or three months. So um, I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday and celebrated with loved ones as much as I could. Um, we had a really small Christmas at home and we're planning to have a very small New Year's Eve that involves family and tequila at home. So it's wonderful, I can't wait. Um, anyway, so I wanted to talk today about how we have complete control over our thoughts. Here's the question. How often do we think about what we want versus what we don't want? A lot of times we spiral into this like unconsciously we start thinking about all the bad things that can happen, things that would make us a worry. And we just make these scenarios in our head about uh, the worst case scenario um, that we could encounter and we get emotionally mixed up and involved in it. We get anxiety. It starts creating physical symptoms in our bodies like sweaty hands and anxiety for an event that has not even happened. And it sounds ridiculous, but we all do this. And I used to be guilty of it as well. For example, like a parent getting sick or something bad happening, car crash or something, and you started visualizing this happening and they're in the hospital and then you're going and you're seeing them and they have tubes tied to them and your heart starts beating fast and this is all in your head. I know a couple of people like recently that have um, had these scenarios and you know, it, it doesn't do anything good for your body. It releases stress hormones and makes you anxious. And it's, it's especially now, like during time of COVID, like people are getting anxious. So we have complete control over what gets into our mind and what creates these feelings. Um, the worst thing about it is once you create these feelings by the thoughts, the thoughts are completely related to the emotions and feelings that get stirred up then that turns into physical symptoms, which can't be, be cannot be good for you because we're not meant to be in that state of mind. I'm getting called. Let's see if she finds me. You know what a good attitude is, Sia? What's a good attitude? Being happy. See? So proud. Lucas, what makes you happy, Sia? Me. <laughs> you make me happy. You, you make me happy because you Princess Moana and, you, and I like your bright, bright color princess. All these emotions get stirred up and they cause physical symptoms in your body, which is not good. And it's over something that hasn't even happened. It's happened in your mind. You created the scenario in your mind. So why don't we try and control our thoughts and steer them in the right direction and start thinking about the things that we do want. You will, um, you'll be amazed at how your life changes once you start focusing on the things that you want to happen in your life instead of the things that you don't want to happen. I don't know why we tend to go into the other direction completely capable of controlling it. We just don't do it. I don't know why, but we just don't do it. We are programmed, I guess, to think about doom. Um, what makes us different from the animal species? We are humans. We, yes, we can see, hear, taste, touch, and smell. Those are our five senses. And that's what animals can do. So we also have six higher faculties. What are those six higher faculties? reason, perception, memory, the will, intuition, imagination. Those are things that we need to tap into um, because that's what's going to help us to regain that control over our state of mind and control over our thoughts. So it is so important to tap into those six sources that we're given that make us different um, than animal species. And we need to stop getting into stress mode and thinking about all the bad things that can happen. Instead, focus on the things that make you happy. Focus on the things that you want in your life. That's why I don't watch the news. I refuse to watch it. I know what's going on. I have an idea. I don't want to 
I just don't want to um, immerse myself in it. It's going to give me anxiety. And I have these little people here. I need to keep myself mentally stable and sane so that I can take care of them and be on a good frequency. Because if mama's on a good frequency, then the kids are hopefully going to get that energy from me. So I really, as a mom, everybody has the reasons to keep themselves in a good positive state. Mine are... My biggest reason is number one for myself and then for them because it's just going to be a domino effect, right? My anxiety is going to rub off on them the wrong way and everybody else in the household. So I'm working on it. And I strongly suggest that to those who constantly are constantly focused on the negatives or all the bad stuff that can happen that haven't, don't do that. You can drive yourself crazy. You are going to go crazy. You're going to hurt yourself in ways that you don't even understand. Like you are going to physically cause yourself anxiety and uh, stress and all those bad things create hormones in your body that are unwanted. Because we are not meant to live in that state. I wish you a happy, healthy 2021. I'm not going to say 2021 is going to be my year or anything like that. I'm not going to say that because uh, I did that last year. But... I wish you a peaceful, healthy, and happy new year. I hope the best for all of you for 2021.